Okay. Well, today, as you can see, I'm under my umbrella. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm going out for a, a walk in the rain today, looking again for another elusive goose. Hopefully this one will be a little bit easier than the last one. It took me three goes to get. The last one was the, um, the pink-footed goose. This one's a black-faced goose. I think it's a Canadian one. Um, it's down in into the Lago on the estuary. So I've got to go for a little walk down the side of the golf course first. Uh, and obviously as it's raining, I bought the umbrella with me. So see what goes on. Otherwise I've got to, if I don't have the umbrella like this I won't have the There's people running as you can see along the side of the golf course. It's beautiful down here though. Let me show you. It's, uh, it's still quite a nice walk down through here. It's like a pine forest on the edge of the estuary. It's actually a beautiful walk in nature down here. There's loads of little birds up in the trees. I can't really get many pictures of them because the, the lighting's terrible today. If I see anything interesting, I'll try though. But I'm more here for the goose today, so let's see what happens. One thing I should mention actually is that this area, Quinta del Lago, on the edge of the golf course where the estuary comes in is actually one of the, the top birding spots for the whole of the Algarve. You can normally get an average of 50 to 60 species in one day down here, especially if you use a little hide that is built on the back of the golf course further back. On the way back I'll actually show you what I mean and you can see, but for now I'm going to walk up to the end of the estuary and see if I can find this goose. So after about a 20 minute walk I'm finally getting up to the area where the goose should be. Um, coming out of the forest towards the tanks now. I'll just show you it's behind. As you come out we've got the tanks here and the bay. Now he should be somewhere in this area. So we'll wait and see. I'm not allowed to actually go through here. So we'll see if I can find him with the binoculars first. And then if I do, obviously I'll get back. So I'll wait and see what happens. A right, quick look. I think at first sight, knowing my luck with most of the goose, they're normally a long, 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 long way off. So I might have to go a little further down and keep looking. Well, I spent just over an hour looking for the goose, but uh, no luck, I'm afraid. So I'm taking a walk back now to the hide. I'll show you the hide at Quinta del Lago, as I said, it's an excellent spot for birding if anyone's down here. It's a, it's a beautiful wooden hide built by Quinta del Lago on the edge of the golf course on one of the lakes. And uh, it's very, very good for lots of species of duck, little bitterns and quite a few other things. So I'll show you when I get there in about 10-15 minutes. Okay, coming out of the forest now and back onto the golf course area. You can already see the hide there, probably. It's that wooden box there. <laughs> it's quite a big one, so it's a good box, it's a good hide, it's two levels. And uh, I'll show you in a second when I get there. As you can see, this is the 
height. It's got a large fence on either side. It's got two floors. There's upstairs as well. But uh, this is the lake with the view from the hide. It's actually a beautiful place, especially on a summer's day. It's stunning. But uh, you can normally get, on average, about probably 10, 15 different species of ducks and birds here within 10 minutes every time you come down. Anyway, I'm going to stay here for a little while as it stops raining and see what I can do. Before I go, <coughs> let me just show you these because these are actually on the wall here. So, if I can focus on them, there we go. And uh, these are all the common birds that are here. I've seen actually all of these already today. So, they have this on the wall. As I said, it, it's a beautiful place, so it's well worth it. <laughs> okay, all right. The, the battery died <laughs> just after I finished in the hide. So I gave it a, I thought I'd leave it for that time for the day. I had enough by the, by the time I was finished there looking for that goose for two hours. Um, anyway, the hide was nice. Didn't get many pictures. Obviously it wasn't particularly good weather. I got a few nice ones, but that, that was it. Um, but again, that area is well worth a visit if ever anyone's in the Algarve. I would say it's one of the, the best places to see a greater amount of species because you have the river at the back side, or the estuary should I say, you have the tanks up on the left um, near the uh, faro end, and you have this hide that uh, you've just seen. It's an excellent place to come for a day's birding. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you again next weekend. Bye.